Yesterday, hundreds of people gathered at Beth Emmett, the free synagogue, in Evanston to hear former President Bill Clinton speak at a Get Out the Vote rally for his wife, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Campaigns for Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders continue to attract Chicago voters ahead of next week's Illinois presidential primary. And the campaigns need the help of volunteers like Kevin Chang, who spoke at yesterday's Clinton event. The Illinois primary election is just one week away. Look around and find the organizers and volunteers with clipboards and sign up to volunteer. After attending Bill Clinton's speech earlier in the day, some Chicagoans returned to the 49th Ward office in Rogers Park to participate in a phone bank for Hillary Clinton. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, who introduced President Clinton in the morning, visited the Ward office that night and thanked the volunteers for their support. This is where it's at. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the voices connect with real people. Congresswoman Schakowsky traveled to Iowa with a group of supporters to campaign for Clinton before the Iowa caucuses, and she feels confident about her candidate's chances in Illinois. This is uh, her state. She was uh, born actually in my district and then raised in my district, which is, uh, it includes Park Ridge. I am ready for the first woman president of the United States. And when she takes that oath of office, the issues that affect women and families are going to leap right to the top of the agenda. Veronica Kachakrian was in charge of the Rogers Park phone bank last night. She has been organizing with the Clinton campaign since October and volunteered for Hillary in 2008. Well, I mean, it's, it's a different campaign. It's a different campaign. I think people are more uh, energized and I think people are excited and um, they want to make sure that they do everything they can to make sure she's the Democratic nominee and wins the White House. While the Clinton campaign worked at the 49th Ward office, some Sanders supporters gathered here at the Heartland Cafe for a phone bank and Democratic debate watch party. Heartland Cafe is located behind the Morse L stop and the cafe's political director Kathleen Dillon says the restaurant's support of Sanders is not a marketing tool. This isn't about selling more drinks. This isn't about selling more sandwiches. This isn't about packing the people in. This is because we really believe in this man's message and we really want him as our president. The cafe has been politically active for a long time. They opened up this cafe to be that sort of spot for Rogers Park. Um, they campaigned for Harold Washington out of here. He was here. Uh, this has been a hub for political activism on the north side of Chicago for quite some time. Heartland is hosting debate watch parties and Sanders phone banks like this one, organized by David Sherman. If you make direct contact with someone, they're more likely to get out and vote, so we're just getting in touch with people and reminding them to vote. And tell them what your name is and tell them that you're calling to see if we can count on your support for Bernie Sanders on the 15th. Sherman also volunteered for the Obama campaign in 2008 and 2012. I support everyone volunteering no matter what their point of view is. I think the most important thing is for people to be active. So, what are Heartland Cafe's plans for after the Illinois primary? If Sanders doesn't win the nomination, we're going to still be involved here. I think the next conversation, after we quit focusing so hard on the campaign, will be how can we focus more on our community here and like do some good here. However, for the next few days, the focus for the Heartland Cafe and the Rogers Park Clinton phone bank remains on the national election. I'm Michael Stern, Northwestern News Network.